All right, y'all, so we're doing a series on new constructions. So putting in uh, the HVA system, HVAC system, and the supply and return duct work. So on this segment, we're gonna cover uh, plenum and trunk line construction. So we've got our two inch duct board back here. Okay, got a stack of that. Got some leftover pieces on top from a previous job. This is a duct board machine here. It's set up for two inch on each side. See the little arrow here indicating two inch. So we don't need to adjust this machine. And then we have our fabrication table right here, which we'll get to a little later. So first off, we've got our plans. We're doing two separate uh, systems at this house. So let's get this camera set up here where you can somewhat see what we're doing. So we're going to start with We're gonna do the upstairs first. So we've gotta build 16 feet of 10 inch by nine inch duct. So that's 10 by nine. We're using two inch, so you can see on this tool here, there's a two inch, two inch here, one and a half, one and a half, one inch. So we're doing 10 by nine, so we're gonna measure, we're gonna start with 10. We're gonna go from the two inch mark on the A tool to the two inch mark on this side of the B tool for 10 inches. And this is gonna make one side of that duct work. So that's right on 10. All right, we're gonna go from the two inch mark on the B tool to the inside two inch mark on the C tool exactly nine inches and then we're doing 10 again same process from c to d this tool down here is the d tool and then we're going to go nine inches from d to e and I always double check to make sure we got 10 by nine by 10 by nine, okay? And these two inch sheets back here are out of this box. They are four feet wide by 10 inches, excuse me. They're four feet deep looking at it this way by 10 feet wide. So each section of duct that we cut is going to be four feet in length, if that makes sense. So we're gonna make a four foot section of 10 inch by nine inch duct work. We need 16 feet of 10 by nine. So, I'm gonna get this down. Put it here. And this is the male end of the duct board going in here, okay? And it has to butt up. There's a set of rollers and there you want to make sure that that lip is all the way up against this runner or whatever you want to call it because this is your first cut the a cut and then when you push it in you want to make sure that you feel contact all the way across so i don't know if you can see that if i push this left end in first and then push that end in it's gonna cut at an angle. So this end's gonna start off not touching, and then by the time we get down here cutting it, this is gonna be bunched up into it, and it's gonna be a damaged piece of ductwork that we can't use. So, ideally, back here, it's good. This is what the finished product looks like coming out of the machine. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this job out and fast forward for this. And just to show you this pedal here is what activates the machine. And other than that, it's just feeding the duct work in. And then when we get to different cut, like we've got uh, 12 by 8 to cut, 8 by 7 to cut, 12 by 14 to cut, a supply and return plenum to cut. So we'll go through all those adjustments, but the A tool, the A tool always stays in the same spot. We'll measure off of that. So we've cut all of the board that we need for the upstairs. Just want to go over what we do now as far as uh, we'll call this fabrication. So you've got to take these pieces out that have been cut out. Turn this a little bit. So that's what these tools in the uh, duck board machine do. So this is the A tool cut. Cuts uh, what I would call part of a ship lap. This is the B tool cut, the C tool cut, the D tool cut, and the E cut. Just cuts it off flush. Um, that's garbage. And this is a, a fabrication table, that's what I call it. And, oh, now I know what we're missing. There's supposed to be a flap here, but this was a short piece. So I'm going to show you with a... Uh, oh, huh, wait a second. I think I did something wrong here. Yep. So. This piece comes off down here. There we go. That is the E-cut. So I always put the E-cut up on the table. And then we're gonna take our UL tape, which is less than two years old right now. This is uh, pressure activated tape. So we're going to make some tabs. And 
you want this, uh, I believe that's the C cut in the corner of this table. I'm gonna fold this down like this. Push these together. Make sure that your ends join up. So, you know, you got your ends here. You wanna make sure that they're flush with each other. I'm gonna take a little pushing. Get it centered. Push it all the way in. Fold these tabs over. Use your squeegee or your tape applicator. Press that tape down good. Activate the glue. Now we've got the tabs on. Now we're going to take this seam here. And uh, don't ever take and run your hand long ways down this. This tape is like razor blades on the ends. So if you run your hand down it and catch the edge, you're going to pull back a bloody finger. So now this is a completed piece of duct work that you can see through there. And then you want to check your work. Um, actually, this end has a ship layout. This is the yeah, this is the female end. Excuse me. So we want to measure this and see if it matches our measurement. This is supposed to be a nine by nine. So we've got. Yep, you can see here. There's a gap right there and down here so it went in the machine kind of crooked but there's nine and there's nine so this is your nine by nine and we're going to take and this is all of the duck board that we just cut we're going to take and remove all of the pieces that we took out here that are garbage we're going to Put those together like we did this piece and then we have to prepare each piece to be joined to the next piece so actually i'll cover that when i get two pieces together or we'll do that out on the job site but basically you're going to cut each of these flaps fold them down and this happens in the shop. We're going to come to a corner here and we want to cut at an angle from here to this corner here all the way around. Cut off any excess. And we'll cover this in another video when we're actually on site. But Leaving each piece like this makes it ready for the next piece of duct work to attach to it. So we always want to make sure that our tape seam matches. So if we had another piece just like this, we would take and this side would set on here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half and show you. This brings me to another point so whenever you're cutting a whole piece of duct work you've got these threads that go across okay and those are i've never had one not be you know straight so when i cut this around into my 13 inch piece i'm going to stay on the same thread line all the way around Thirteen inch piece because we're gonna make that box. Found the thread I want to stay on. It. And you want to make sure you keep your blade at a 
you know, perpendicular to this duct. You don't want to be coming in at an angle. Then you don't get that, uh, I guess it would be a 90 degree edge, perpendicular edge. This also comes back to when you're uh, when you have this un put together piece on the table and you're making sure that the ends flush up to each other if you've got it off a little bit then all of these lines are going to be off as well so that's what it looks like cut you may or may not have to come in here if you're going to join a piece that you cut and you'll have to make a cut oh yeah it's right here you have to make a cut like this, basically taking an inch out all the way around, uh, about an inch and a half deep. So, back to the reason I did this, we've got this piece now, and this is how we join all of our duct work on site. The tape seam's here, so we want to make sure that we match up that tape seam. We've got the female end there there we go and then we're gonna fold these up if we were gonna put these two pieces together put a tape tab here tape tab here tape tab on each side activate it with your squeegee or your applicator and then come all the way around and seal this with your UL listed tape so that's how we join ductwork together and we'll cover more of that when we're out on site uh, at this job and now we're going to go ahead and put all of this together go ahead and fabricate the downstairs and go through all this process and uh, the next video will have us out on site